Hey guys, what's up? This is Jake, and I am going to show you today how you turn this into this. Okay guys, I've been on low-dose testosterone for October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Eight months now. Um, and I, I know you can't see it because, you know... It just it's it's too fine but there is actually some some growth here and a tiny bit of growth here and, and here um it's nothing that you know even if you were in person you would not be able to see this because it's so fine so blonde so here's what I do to make it look not so fine and not so blonde I start with, this is CoverGirl Clump Crusher Aqua Resistant in the green container. I also use CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Hydrofuge in the orange container. An eyebrow comb pencil combination. And... makeup wipe. I keep one in the car and use it until it's pretty well used up or dried up. And uh, that way it saves a little bit of money. Um, but car. Now, I always do this in the car because this gives me the best light. Um... And you really need good light to be able to see the fine hairs and make sure you're getting it on the hair and not on the skin. So first off, I uh, usually start off with using the face wipe, makeup wipe, uh, to scrub all of it off from the previous day. Um, I usually have some of the mustache left, maybe a little bit at the sideburns, but uh, the rest of it pretty much is wiped off while I was sleeping. Um, but I already did that already. So, ugh, it's not cooperating. Okay. Now, I know the majority of this you can't see, you can't see very well, but wait for it. Just just wait for it. It will get better. Your biggest thing you need to pay attention to at this point in the game is to not get it on the skin. You just want those fine hairs lightly covered because this is a... Um, This is like making candles, okay? You dip the wick in the liquid wax 
over and over and over until the candle is as thick as you want it. Same principle. Oh, hey, you're starting to be able to see some there. I'm looking in the mirror just above uh, where the camera's at. My growth from here to here is very minimal at this point. But if you're wondering how realistic this looks in person, ah, see, I got a little of my skin right there. Not a big deal. That's why we keep the wipe in the car with us. So anyway, I was saying, <clears throat> you're wondering how realistic this looks in real life. Uh, one of my trans guy friends who met me before um, I really started testosterone. So he knew what my face looked like before any facial hair. Him and I went out to the bar one night and after we hadn't seen each other for a while. And <clears throat> he, uh, after we got home, he's like, you know, I'm really jealous of all that facial hair you got. I'm like, dude, it's just makeup. And he's like, nah, -uh. like, yeah, I literally, I had to take it off my face in order to prove to him that it was just makeup. The shorter the hair, the harder it is to get it to accept the color. Okay, the orange and the green um, containers, those are my personal preferences. I always use the orange container um, on my lip and the green on the rest. Uh, sometimes I use the orange down here if it's not accepting much makeup. Uh, but the orange is a little more liquid than the green. And so I have to be really careful with it where I don't have to be as careful with the green one. I'm going to get really close. Hopefully that gave you a better view of what it actually looks like. All right. I'm just going to keep doing this until it's as dark as I want it.
I was kind of half hoping I'd get some clumps because then I could show you how to fix that. Because um, it does happen frequently. Maybe a little bit right here. Uh, I can't even tell if you can see it or not because I'm looking away. Now, pull back and check for evenness. This side's a little higher right here than this side, so. One of the cool things about doing it this way, you can pretty well shape your beard differently every single day and don't have to worry about grow back time. Now, this is a waterproof mascara, uh, so, um, you know, you can be outside sweating as long as you don't rub it. If you rub it, you're screwed. It's going away. Um, I've actually been to the amusement park and been on water rides, and as long as I don't rub directly on where the uh, makeup is, no problem. Get a little closer here so I can get the lip. Oh good, there's a clump. I can show you what to do. Okay, it's all kind of clumpy. Good, good, good. Don't worry about the clumps. They are okay. Now we're going to let that dry because that's where the majority of the clumps are. There are I think there's a few clumps right back here. I can kind of see in the mirror. I'm going to go ahead and darken this up a little. Okay, we're back. Uh, we kind of got interrupted a little bit because the phone got too hot and said, your camera will not record anymore. So anyway, I think when we left off, I was about to apply here to here. I've not done anything else since I left the first time. So let's get back at it. Okay, since it's been a while since we were uh, together, 
this has had plenty of time to dry and uh, so I'm going to just brush that off and get the clumps out of it. Mm, I think I waited too long. Ow. There. Now, for this, this hair is a little longer, so I run the comb through it first to get any larger clumps out. This just gets them all going the right direction. Gotta let this dry because this is where I just put the uh, orange stuff. Now, give you a close look. Now you notice right there, where there was a clump there, and I pulled the clump off with my fingernails, um, it left a little bit of a bald patch, so I need to go back in and fix that. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I'm gonna, not really any clumps in there, and this hair is too short really to bother with the brushing. Uh, just kind of stands straight out. Uh, so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. That's it, uh, it's real super simple. You just need the uh, mascara, an eyebrow brush comb kit and um, your wet one. Wet one, makeup wipe, whatever. Uh, just try to make sure it's not something too harsh. Um, that way it doesn't hurt your skin too much. Um, also, you want to make sure and cleanse good beforehand so that, um, you know, you're not making any acne worse or whatever. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. Later.